I'm using chalk today. I've signed my name on the bottom. Chalk is divided into two categories, the warm colors and the cool colors. You can pick if you want a cool color sky or a warm color sky. But when I use chalk, I just kind of do like patches of color. Chalk is mainly powder without much binder in it. Whereas like an oil pastel has a lot of binding in it and makes it more oily. Chalk is really powdery. So I kind of just fill it in with patches of color. And I want my horizon line to not be in the middle. May move it up or move it way down. And then when I'm ready to blend colors, I take my finger and I kind of massage the colors together, pushing that chalk powder or the pigment onto the paper. And they can blend together really interesting. So I'm massaging my finger, <coughs> getting it all colored in. And then if I did warm colors here on the bottom, I would do the cool colors. So here I did the opposite. So I would take a clean finger to do the other color theory side. Because if I use the same dirty finger, they would kind of get all muddy. So here I'm blending them together. And to do this guy, I would just pick a new finger to massage those colors and at the end of the day we'll wash the table so if you're getting chalk powder on the table that's okay because we'll just wash it when we are done there I have a rag at my desk so periodically I can just clean off my fingers earlier I cut out some stencils I did a stencil of some clouds. So I take my stencil of the clouds, I find a clean spot of my table, I pick some analogous colors or colors next to each other on the color wheel, and I lay down some chalk around the edge of that stencil, just around the upper edge. And I'm going to use colors that are next to each other on the color wheel, analogous colors. Now I'll lay down my stencil and I'll push the chalk up and away from me. There, and when I remove my stencil, I get this nice crisp line of where it was. Now I can re-chalk it. Quickly just laying down a layer of chalk adding analogous colors, that is colors next to each other on the color wheel so they look good together otherwise we'd get like a brown and I push the chalk up and away from me there now I've created one that kind of looks like some mountains so I'll color in the chalk using analogous colors and then this time I'm going to pull the chalk down so I'm going to use a clean finger and pull that chalk down my picture there I peel it off I have this crisp edge of the outline I have another stencil I created that has like plateaus or like flat edges I chalk the outside edge and then using a clean finger I push that chalk up or you could pull it down too. Let's say this time I want to pull it down. I could flip my stencil this way and pull it down. Just re-chalking that powder along the outside. And I'm out of clean fingers, so I would just take my rag, clean up a finger, line up your stencil, and you can pull that chalk down onto your paper. There, it's creating crisp lines. This is a better one that I did earlier. When you are done with your stencils, feel free to use the chalk to draw directly onto your composition.